Hello guys, welcome to the new video. Chrome OS 90 is out. I was able to update my device yesterday to the latest software and I was playing around to see what's new. In general, compared to the Chrome OS 89, the new updates are subtle, so they're not that much new stuff, but there are like few points that I want to talk about in this video. So let's just get started. I will open the Chromebook here, which I made a small list here, which I want to talk about in this video. So what's new in the Chrome OS 90? The first one and the first app is the Diagnostics app and how you can find it. You can go to the settings. You can go to the About Chrome OS. You guys see that the version is also 90 here. Go to the Diagnostics here. Then it will open a separate app. You can also pin it if you want, but I will leave it like that. But here you can see the battery status of your device, battery health and cycle count. You guys get out this Chromebook duet that I have, it now has 94%. I also realized that the battery is also keeps a little bit like shorter. And you can also run discharge tests here. You have also CPU here, it shows also the CPU usage here, also the temperature of your uh, CPU. And also you can run CPU tests and also you have the memory and you can also again run the memory tests. And below you have the save session logs to save all of the data here that you run for this uh, test. But in general, it's a useful feature to have it, to have an overview of your device health, especially the battery status and also the temperature can be also useful. So, but that's also the main new feature, I would say that this Chrome OS 90 has. The others are more like an improvement in the UI of the Chrome OS. So now let's continue with the second improvement, which is also important is this thought or this pin to shelf improvement. You guys, I talked about this in the Chrome OS 89 update. You guys know that you have here, you can also pin your documents here. But the new thing is here, if you right click here, you're able to remove it. That's also really useful in the past, especially if you downloaded something, which I will do that now in the Chrome, I will download some app here. Now, after it's finished, you guys can see that it comes here to the download in this thought here. And now you can right click and remove it. In the past, you could not remove it and it was also weird that how long it stays there and you cannot get rid of it. But now you can come, come here and just click on remove. Another thing that is new is the drag and drop to this uh, tool here. But unfortunately, I cannot just bring it and drop it. It doesn't work. It means that first I have to create this like a uh, tool here with this pin to shelf option here. Now I have it here. This part that I can now drag and drop. You guys can see that now I will bring it and it will be pinned there. It will be nice that in future you could do it without if you didn't have any displays, but maybe that will come in the next updates. So let's move on with the next update. It's a Google search bar also got better UI and also better implemented in general. So if I click on the search on my keyboard and start typing WhatsApp, for example, to the search on the web, and for example, it also shows the latest application that are open with your device and also the latest search items from the Google, like a Chrome browser. In general, it's useful. If you, I click on work, it will just automatically search for it. And then I can go there. It's really nicely integrated, which makes it also useful and handy. So let's go with the next option is a live caption. Unfortunately, this doesn't work for me. I read that this is available in the Chrome OS 90, but it doesn't work for me, but you can enable it through the flags. First, I will show where you have to show it. You, this feature, you have to go to the settings. If you go to the advanced here, if you go to the accessibility, if you go to manage accessibility features, and if you go, scroll down, you have this caption option. You guys see that caption here. You should be able to have this a toggle to turn on live captions, but which I don't have it here. But as I said, there's a flex for that. So you just need to go to the Chrome flex here in the search bar, write the caption. And when you write that, you see the live caption, you just need to enable it and then restart. Then it has to work. Next feature is the name Chrome window. This is like a small update, which can be some useful if you have really multiple windows open. For renaming it, you just need to right click here and click on name window. You can give any name you want. I will leave it as Chrome OS 90. Okay, now trim finger swipe off to go to the multitasking 
window and you guys can see that chrome os 90 the name of it which is useful to have it as i said if you have really multiple windows open that's mostly not the case for me actually so this feature is too small feature for me which maybe i will not use then i have the scanner app also the ui got a little bit uh, better uh, interface and also it works better for me because I have a printer which is also a scanner I can show it as a printers here it's Epson printer in the past if I go and went to the scanner it didn't recognize it but now it's work it recognized that Epson network so I was able to also scan using this device which I really appreciated this small update here so that was it for all the features that I was able to find. There are also really small updates again for the Chrome OS 90. But in this video, I want to just talk about the main ones that I was able to notice during this one day that I had this uh, latest software. So hope you guys enjoyed it and hope it was helpful and hope to see you guys in the next video.